Hi, welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm super excited about this week's Catch Up With Me video. I don't have a lot to share with you, but the stuff that I do have to share with you, I'm super excited about, so let's jump right on in. First, as always, here is my mini planner layout. Love, love, love it, because we still have some summer left, you guys, and as you can see, I have already written in it, too. And then, now this is my social media planner, so I'm doing something, I'm doing something a little bit different this week. And let me show it to you first, and then I'll tell you what it is. Okay, so here is the layout. Hopefully you can see that. So what I've done is I have created... What did I create? Oh, I've created boxes. So let me just fold it in half. So as you can see on Monday, I have here that I need to post my video. And then, I'm, and then I note that I'm going to put in my Facebook group, my Twitter group, my Twitter page both of them instagram linkedin and then start thinking of topics for next week so that's what's on this little sticker hopefully you can see that and i don't have anything for tuesday but then on wednesday i follow the same pattern here and then i did the same thing for friday on this side saturday i just made notes of things that i need to do what i need to work on record for the for next week and same thing for sunday because i i'm going to be going out of town for my family reunion so i believe this week i'm going to have to record a couple extra videos so that i can still post even though i'm not here We'll see. We'll see how the week goes because, you know, if I'm not feeling it, I'm just not going to do it. So we'll see. Right now it's on my planner to do. So that is the plan for the week, you know. And I know a lot of times people go out of town and they, do, they don't do all this extra, you know, recording. But I just want to keep my videos going while I'm away. And it's only for the weekend. So it's not like it's going to be for a week or two. Now, I saved my my medium planner that match mirrors the small the mini planner because for a reason because it's something i wanted to show you so first of all let me check out my layout y'all i'm loving this because if you know me then you know purple is my favorite color so check that out it is all written in in fact let me let me fold this back and you will notice that i have a nail appointment on friday and look at that bam i had a purple bottle of nail polish y'all better stop don't play with me this is my favorite color so i am loving this layout also i showed you i told you guys i think that i bought stencils so what i did was i started to um put the i stamped my water here let me just show you so I can keep track of it. I stamped my, let me find it. Oh, right here. I stamped the water in purple ink right here. So as I drink my water, I'll just check off the boxes. So that is that, you guys. Super, super, super excited about it. Now, oh, also I'm jumping ahead, but that's because I already have this here and I wanted to show it to you. Now, I one of the things that I purchased on last week was my fitness pack and so i decided to jump right on in y'all were so excited so here's my august and this is what the august page looks like right here okay and at the bottom it says take care of your body it's the only place you have to live in and that is so true so if you guys are not taking care of your body shame on you but you can fix that because it's the only place you have to live in so the other thing i did was and you and I purposely didn't write anything in here. I have my little box here for my weight for the for the month. So in this in this tracker system, I'm only going to record my weight for the month. However, in my medium planner and my other, I'm sorry, my mini planner, I'm going to be tracking my weight by the week. Okay, so and, and, and that that may not make sense to you, but it does to me. So anyway, I took the liberty of writing in all of my workouts for the month. Now you'll notice that I don't have anything on Saturday and Sunday. That is because Saturday and Sunday really can be my cheat day, if you will. And the only reason why that is is because sometimes my weekends are so busy that by the time I can even think about going to do some cardio because I only do weights Monday Wednesday and Friday but even if when I get to a point where I can think about doing cardio I'm just tired or I run out of day you know what I mean so I'm leaving my Saturday and Sunday open 
when time permits, I will go and get my cardio in and I will write that in, you know, as, as needed. And so I am back to tracking. Well, I haven't, I don't, I didn't finish this week. I have it. I just didn't put it all in here. So I promise you next week it will be completely filled out where I am tracking my calories for my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because if you've been with me for a while, then you know I use an app called My Plate. And let me pull that up for you real quick so you can see it. And like I said, it's called My Plate. And so. Okay, and of course it wants me to log in again. Gee whiz. Anyway, I use an app called My Plate. And what I do is I log my food into this app, but I take and transfer that information. And I mean, I have a screenshot here because I was sh showing somebody else. But anyway, I log my, my food in, and here's a screenshot of how it tracks my food. So it tells me, like, I had a banana. One day I had a banana, right? And, oh, wait a minute, hold on, what, what, what did I do? Y'all, what is going on? Okay, one day I had a banana. Let's try this again. And I hope you guys can see this. So I logged in the banana that I had. And it, a serving was, was one serving. And the date was August the 3rd. And it just says repeating. And all of them just say never. Because I like to add stuff in when I want to put it in. But when I put in the banana... It gives me my calorie breakdown. So it tells me that that banana was 105 calories. Calories from fat was four calories. So out of that 105, only four calories was from fat. But then down here, it breaks this, I hope you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, it breaks this little wheel down and it tells me that that banana, it only had 1.29 grams of protein in it. It also tells me that there was 0.39 grams of fat. And, and here's the problem. Here's the problem. It had 26.95 grams of carbs. So when you see this big green wheel, I hope you guys can see that. Can y'all see that? When you see that big green wheel right here, that's telling me that this that banana is made up mostly of carbs and and which is disheartening because i love bananas but i realize i can't eat them two and three times a day because there's just too many carbs in them not that it's not good for not that the banana is not good for me but i don't need all the carbs so that's another thing that i'm working on is is making sure the food that i'm eating is high in protein so I have been doing this thing where I said I'm going to, and I don't know if I shared that with you guys or not, but anyway, I decided that I'm going to eat oatmeal every day for breakfast for the entire month of August. Is it going to be hard? Yes, it is, because I love my bacon and eggs for breakfast. However, I can do it. Now, there is one thing. I can switch the the uh, oatmeal for cream of wheat because I love me some cream of wheat. I, honey, I love cream of wheat more than I love oatmeal. So, a case in point, on Friday, because I telework from home on Fridays and Mondays, I decided that I, well, number one, I don't have any uh, oatmeal, and I do have a big box of cream of wheat, so I decided to have me a bowl of cream of wheat. Will I go out and buy some oatmeal? Probably not, because I just bought the cream of wheat. So, I have that option to, to, you know, use them as necessary. And, and for the most part, the oatmeal will be when I'm at work because I don't, we don't have cream wheat at work. But anyway, I'm loving it. I took my weight already and I can't wait to check it again at the end of the year, you know, to see what progress I have made you guys. So I'm super, super excited about that. And then what else? Oh, something else I want to tell you, show you real quick. So I decided to sh save my budget review uh, pieces of paper from my planner last year. So let me just show you real quickly what I did. So budget review, and this is for uh, August the 28th. So that's what the, the sheet looks like. So at the end of the month, I need to fill out what did I have the most, where did I have the most trouble? Also, what could I improve on? What could I improve this month? And what goals can I set for next month? So what I did was down here at the very bottom, I didn't fill out this yet, but at the very bottom, I wrote in that it says, what goals can I set for next month? Well, for next month, I put save $400 in my Andrews Credit, Andrews Federal Credit Union, save $100 in my Christmas club, and save $120 in my vacation club. So I am preparing myself, you guys, 
to do a lot more saving the rest of this year as we transition into a new year because I'm trying to tell y'all we need to do it and then here's my month at a glance and this is just what my month at a glance looks like so I have different bills that I'm that I have to take care of for me and my other half and then I just broke down our bills and stuff here when they're due because it just allows me to keep track of everything because you know how y'all men are y'all always rely on us to keep track of stuff right and there's nothing wrong with that so that is that next on my list i wanted to tell you guys i ordered some new items for a fall wreath kit now unfortunately they haven't come in the mail yet so i can't show them to you and i promise i will as soon as i get them so in this kit this is what you're what you're going to get you are going to get a 10 inch roll of chocolate brown deco mesh you'll get a 10 inch poly jute deco mesh mesh in the color natural and it's going to be natural and brown metallic stripes it's 10 yards of that it's absolutely gorgeous and then there's going to be a two and a half fall acorn and leaf ribbon um, it's, it's 10 yards of ribbon. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then there's 10 yards of ribbon. That's the Royal Fox burlap ribbon in orange. And you have to see it to understand why I chose this for this particular wreath kit. And then there's going to be a 12 inch wooden sign that says welcome. And it has pumpkins on, I think it has four pumpkins, two on each side of the word welcome. And then there is a five inch foam rollers, foam shapes. They're foam plain and glitter leaves 12 of them and they're absolutely gorgeous you guys so i'm throwing those in just in case you know whoever purchased that wreath kit wants to add the leaves you don't have to but you know i did throw those in just in case you wanted to use them you may want to use them for another project who knows so i'm super excited about that next on my list uh let's see the oh I, you know what and if i showed you guys this already please charge it to my head not my heart i finally got in the mail um yeah in the mail from amazon the colorful boxes you guys i needed this like i needed my next breath okay love 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 it and let me just show you real quick and i've actually started using well let me say this i bought two because you know i use a lot of these but they have these boxes on here and different sizes and shapes and you know all kind of good stuff in here so i love this and you can get it from amazon you can get it from michael's i think every time i've gone to michael's they've been out of it so i just ordered it from amazon but i'm loving it and let me tell you why i love it let me tell you why i love it you guys because i love it because i'm going to show you my new sheets that i've come up with this is it you guys i promise i'm gonna let you be so i decided to as i was going through my planner i came on my planner from last year i noticed there were some blank sheets in there two of them to be exact and i was going through one of my sticker books and forgive me because i don't recall which one it came in but i saw these two stickers and i was like you know what i've got to use these so this one says spring bucket list so i added it to this piece of paper right here so I will write down at some point in time between now and the end of the year what things I want to accomplish for the spring. This one says summer bucket list. So that's here. And I'll do the same thing so that as I start preparing for next year, I'll have it done before the end of the year. That is that much I do know because I want to, like I said, start preparing for next year. Now, these two things I'm going to show you I'm super, super excited about. Now, I showed you guys this right here, right? Well, now I've written in it. So... Both of these jars are now have something in them. The first one right here, this one is I'm saving for my Williamsburg trip in November. And my goal is to save $800. So I have broken down how I'm going to save my money for that trip. This one over here is I'm saving for my new camera. I showed you guys the camera that I want to get. So the total, oh, I'm sorry, the total amount is going to be 800 I did say that for, for Williamsburg. But for the camera that I want, the total amount is going to be $550. Yes, you guys, I'm going to break down and spend $500, almost $600 on a camera. But I really, really need it. It's a um, Canon DSLR. Absolutely, I need it, need it, need it. Okay, let me just say that. So the total cost for that camera, like I said, is $550. So what I decided to do is I'm going to start with this month. And every month, I'm going to put aside $110 so that by December, when I put my, I hope you guys can see that, when I put my $110 into my savings 
for my camera bam I just go ahead and pay for it all at one time now you can go through what is it QVC and and break it down into five payments or whatever but honey I just want to pay for it all at once so these are the two things that I use these jars for love it I'm gonna have to make some more of those sheets because I love it last but not least and I promise I'm gonna let you be again I'm thinking ahead you guys and so what I've done is mapped out my savings for my family reunion which next year which is going to be in Myrtle Beach South Carolina so this is I use now remember that the this right here this this sticker book with these boxes in it that's what I use to set up this page super excited about it and I love this sticker right here so on here what I did was I have my goal is to save seventy dollars per pay period and see let me tell y'all something you can save a lot of money by breaking it down to small increments just so you know that but my goal like I said is to save seventy dollars per pay period and that's tw I'm, I'm all off 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 screen one second so I wrote it up here as an, I hope you can see that as a note to myself up here that I'm going to be saving seventy dollars per pay period for a total of 29 pay periods which will give me a total of two thousand thirty dollars when I go to my family reunion next year. I also have another account where I'm saving, uh, I think it's like $80, $88, $89 a month. And that account will give me like $1,030 or something between now and next August. Or actually that one, I will get my payout for it in July. So you see how it, it's so easy to save for vacations and when you're doing it in different places you don't have to worry about something coming up and and you spending your money and before you know it's vacation time you don't have any so i took the liberty of make creating these boxes right here i hope you guys can see that and in the boxes i have the months i start with june of this year and i end with august of 2019 and i will note when when i put my money into my savings um account for my vacation I'll note it on here so at a glance I can say oh okay you know what I have X amount of money so you know I'm gonna tell you guys these blank sheets come in very handy and they go in in the front of this planner right here I just opened them up and just add them in right in here because I need to keep my goals right in in the forefront of what it is that I'm trying to do and I said going forward that's just how I'm gonna save for stuff okay so that's all I have you guys I want to say thank you so much to my newest subscribers thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do I love you all to the moon and back and remember we are continuing continuing to do what pray big pray big for what you want and be specific okay don't beat around the bush pray big and be specific about what it is you want because i believe that god hears and answers prayers so with that being said that's all i have i love you guys to the moon and back and there's nothing you can do about it until we talk again next week i want to encourage you not only to pray big but continue to be the awesome people that you are i love you and if nobody else tells you that just know that I truly love you. Until next time, take care.